Hey, you just saw why my golf career never took off. Uh, yeah, this thing might look like a putter, but no, it's actually a pipe bender used to bend electrical conduit. In this video, I'm going to show you the parts of a pipe bender and then also how to bend the most basic bend, which is a 90. So here's a pipe bender up close and personal. On your pipe bender, you have your arrow, which is right there. You have a little notch that is right in front of this 90 um, part that is the, what they call the fulcrum. And then also you have your star, which is the back of the 90. Okay, um, You have all your angles up here. So as you can see, the angles kind of run along the bender. Um, and then down here, you have stubs to 5 inches, which pretty much tells you the takeoff on a 90. So a few tools that you need when you're bending a 90. First, of course, you're going to need a pipe bender. Second thing you're going to need is a torpedo level, preferably with magnets on the back side. And then also you're going to need a marker because the marker writes on the uh, pipe the best and you ain't going to worry about your line uh, getting wiped off. So you got to do a little math. There's two ways to bend a, a 90. Okay, The first way is for um, you know a, a 90 that's going to be less than 5 feet or less than half the stick of the pipe, 60 inches or less. So you're gonna have to do a little math, okay? Um, you gotta know about take up. So when you actually bend your 90, the 90 takes up five inches of pipe for a half inch stick, okay? So you have to subtract that from your measurement because as that pipe rolls up, it's gonna add that pretty much that five inches. So <clears throat> if I'm using three quarters of an inch pipe, then it's gonna be six inches of take up. Now if I'm using one inch pipe, it's going to be eight inches of take up. So just note that half inch is what we're going to be bending today. We have to use five inches of take up. So if I'm bending a 16 inch 90, then I have to subtract five inches from 16, which is going to give us 11 inches. So when I bend my pipe, I'm going to put my mark on 11 inches. All right, so like I mentioned before, um, here's the tools you're going to need when you're bending conduit. Um, we're going to bend a 16 inch 90, therefore we are going to have to subtract 5 inches. So 16 minus 5 is going to be 11 inches. Next thing you want to do, get your pipe bender. This is the front of your pipe bender. Um, since we are subtracting 5 inches, we are going to face the pipe bender the way we measured. You can stick your pipe bender in there, and you're going to use the arrow. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but um, you're going to use the front of the, the pipe bender, which is the arrow, and um, just put it right on that line. Okay, and now you're ready to roll your 90 up. So when you do that, put your foot on the back side, and then just roll it up. You want to have your level handy. Um, once you get it near plumb, you can check it. So this is why I like to have a magnetic level because you can stick it on there and then just kind of check it. You can see I'm almost there. And there is level right there. Um, you're not going to be able to get it, you know, exactly perfect level. You can kind of push on it. And when you attach it to the wall with a strap, that's when you can really level it up. But you just want to get it, you know, close in between the lines. Um, next thing you can do, check your measure. So um, you want to measure up from the ground, and as you can see, I'm about a sixteenth off. You know, pipe bending is kind of like rough carpentry. You're within a sixteenth. You're pretty much good. So the next method for bending a 90 is using the back of your bender, um, which is the star on the bender. When you do that, um, usually your 90 is going to be like longer than half the stick of pipe, which is 60 inches. Or if you're doing a back-to-back -back 90. Um, you, I like to use the star, but I'm just going to say in this pipe, um, I'm just going to bend a 36 inch 90. Uh, this pipe's a little bit shorter, but this is just an example. Um, now, you do not have to subtract the 5 inches. So, the way I showed you before, you subtract the 5 inches. This time, I'm bending a 36 inch 90. I measured from my left here. Um, so I'm not subtracting the five inches. I'm gonna use the back of the bender. Now when you use the back of the bender, last time we had the bender facing the way we measured. This time you're gonna turn around the opposite way. 
okay? And you are gonna use the arrow. Now you insert your pipe in there. All right, and then, like I said, you're gonna use the arrow. I might have to go out of frame for just a second just to make sure I'm on the right side. So as you can see, I measured from my left and I pulled my tape measure this way, but now I got my bender the opposite way and um, you'll see why in one second. So same as before, put your foot on the back side and then you roll your pipe up, okay? You wanna use your level again, check for plumb and I am pretty good right there. Yep, perfect. So when you do that, the back of your pipe is gonna be at 36. So, so now I can check that out there. Um, and oh yeah, right there at it.